guys, how's it going? Markel here, back with another video. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. With that being said, I have two things I wanna to talk to you guys about today. Uh, the first one being predatory colleges. Okay, this is something that was brought up at the beginning of the year in January that a lot of different news organizations focused on. But now that we're getting back into the time where a lot of people are going back to college, deciding what university they want to go to or trade school they're going to, there are a lot of these for-profit colleges that are predatory who are only seeking out veterans to scam them out of their GI Bill money or sign them up for loans they're not aware of thinking they're on the GI Bill. So I would ask any veteran who's with a school that is not on the recommendation list by the federal government, uh, some schools you've never heard of that have popped up out of nowhere, please do your research on these schools. If you go back and you just put in for-profit colleges scamming veterans, you will see a list of them come up along with a list of veterans who are in financial straits because of these colleges. Let me give you some examples of what happens to veterans who are signing up for these colleges without doing any research and making sure they are a legitimate college. You have these recruiters from these schools. They go to the different um, functions for veterans. They may meet them outside of a VA or VFW, something along those lines. <clears throat> they will tell them stories of where with the GI Bill, they may get 18, 1900, we can get you four or five grand a month instead of that by taking our classes and it's only a year long. Veterans fall for this. And then when they go sign the paperwork, they're thinking they're signing something for the GI Bill where the government is taking care of everything. A lot of them are not knowing they're signing loans that are secondary loans with a super high interest rate. They're not aware of any of this. So they'll go to this school, they're taking online classes just by watching YouTube, or they'll take them out on a field trip that has nothing whatsoever to do with the course curriculum itself. And they're starting to figure out like, wait a minute, I've never been to a school like this. This doesn't seem right. That, at that point, it's a little too late. They start doing research to find out this is not an accredited school. This is just some fly by night that came up has been scamming veterans out of money. The government has a list of these schools and some of these schools are still active. Some of these schools have had their accreditation suspended or taken away completely, but veterans still fall for it. So I would tell any of you guys out there who are thinking about going to school or you're already in school, double check your paperwork. Make sure that the bill is going to the government. Because in some cases, there are veterans out there owing 60,000, 80,000, over 100,000 after attending one year of these schools because they thought they were signing up for the GI Bill. They were not. They were signing up for private loans with secondary lenders at the highest possible rates, 26%, 29%. In which they were still given these stipends, but those stipends were added on into that loan Six months, eight months, a year later, veterans start getting bills in the mail regarding a loan they were not even aware of that they got from this university. And at that time, they're looking to get help. But then they're gonna ask, well, what kind of help are you looking for? Because you should have checked into this school before you signed up. Now, everyone is, is fully aware of all these predatory um, situations that are going on. And the same thing with medical. Let me roll over into medical. It's the same way, guys. You'll have these guys online who tell you, I'm an ex-VA employee, provide you no proof they ever worked at the VA. Then they'll tell you a story along the lines of, I can write you a, a letter to help you win your TDIU case because I know what they're looking for. Give me $900, give me $1,200, and I'll make sure you get that TDIU. That sounds familiar to some of you guys, but yet and still, nobody does any research and that same individual is on the VA's list already for fraud or do not trust. See, the VA has a list of these people already that they're never gonna believe no matter what they write. 
because they're already aware of who they are. You have doctors out there who don't even have a license anymore that's been suspended or revoked for numerous reasons that's still practicing, that are not supposed to be, and veterans will go to them. And when the time comes when you're looking to get an increase or you're looking to file for something, you keep getting denied and you got all this evidence that says you have whatever it is, but it's the doctor. It's the doctor that you're seeing that's on their government list. They're never going to approve. You guys understand what I'm saying? The same thing happens with these third party services. I'm not trying to bash them, dude. I'm trying to give you guys reality checks. I myself personally, in the last two years, have gone to six CMP exams. Do you know why? It is because something that the doctor wrote here didn't jive with what the doctors wrote in the States. Didn't jive with my x-rays or my MRIs from the States. So they needed multiple opinions. I got so tired of going to CMP exams, I flew to the States just to get, take one CMP exam. Two days that I paid for at a hotel, flight, all of that, just to get a CMP exam to get it out of the way. Otherwise, this was gonna be a continuing cycle. I'm telling you all that, man, because there's too many times people take little things for granted and they go, well, you know, I'm not gonna worry about it till later. Well, later might come a lot sooner than a lot of you guys think. So all I'm saying is, man, please do your research. Please know that there are people in this world who are simply out to get as much money as they can, however they can get it. Your health care is secondary. Your education is secondary. What's primary to a lot of people out there is the money that you're entitled to that they want to get their hands on. But that's going to be it for this video, man. Just be careful out there because there's many people out there that just want to get in your pocket because they know a soldier, a veteran is worth a lot. In the right situations, they can get a lot and they're gonna use whatever tactic they can to drain it out of you. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching as always. Until the next time, guys, I'm out. Peace.